Economy and row store is just how a computer stores information. So imagine we have a table, we have this name, sales, and cost column. In a row store, a computer doesn't store things in a tabular format like that. It likes to store everything in a long line. So what it does is it actually just rearranges it like this. And say, this is row number one, right? Bill had nine sales and six cost of goods sold. Row number two, row number three, row number four. This is typical in what we call comma separated values, a CSV value uh, file. You probably had one of these. This is right. It just separates each, each value by a column and stores everything in rows. Now, what happens if we want to do some analytics on this? This is really good if we're just adding data, adding a row at the end, because it's easy just to add a row to the end. What if we want to select the name column, which is often when we do analytics, we select columns, right? We'll say select the name column. Now you can see this, all that data is quite far away and it's all spread out throughout the data. We just want the names. Now, because it's spread out, that means that the computer is going to have to spend more time looking for this data. So the data is far apart, it's going to be harder for it. So what we can actually do is we have something called a columnar store. So instead of storing it row by row, it actually stores the data like this in a long line. But now this is column one, this is column two, and this is column three. It just stores it in, in columns. And what's good about this is we can actually say, hey, I want to select name column. All this data is right next to each other, so it's nice and easy for the computer.